the Drew Blue tick. Yeah. Go on, let's get it. I was going to say, basically, so obviously, this is all happening <laughs> at a time when a lot of the artists, man's age or man's generation, yeah. are getting signed. 100%, bro. Man are getting major deals, mm-hmm. dropping major label albums, getting the big collabs, and all this type of stuff. Do you get me? And so those are the artists who I'm guessing, man, are thinking of, when man think, well, there was more yeah. going on with them in the scene, more more energy being kind of directed to those artists. And so I ask you, Rod, do you think that because you were, what, would we call it independent at that time? He was, yeah, you he managed was, yeah. Like, yeah. with what you had going on in-house? Do you think that <coughs> if you, first question for the viewers, right? Mm. You had this situation where you obviously had independent management and had like your own record label within the man mm-hmm. them. Could you have gone the other way and just gone straight major label, uh, possibly pop route, yeah, whatever? Yeah. Could you have done that? And second of all, had you had gone record label, major commercial route, whatever you want to call it, do you think that the industry would have been a bit more, think they would have dealt with you different if you'd yeah, have went that way? I think potentially, yeah. Mm. I think potentially, yeah. I had I had, I had, had um, situations and conversations, but I chose to stick with, with Rem and and um mizzle yeah do you know what i mean um and obviously i was bro i was just a young boy from from the roads bro mm-hmm. i didn't know anything about the music industry i didn't know anything about the music business i put my trust in rem and, and money mike to to guide that side mm-hmm. of things and they made the decisions that they made and i trusted their decisions mm-hmm. um, and you're a leo so you're loyal yeah bro by default because yeah, i had situations yeah. to leave them and i didn't yeah do you know yeah, what i mean yeah, yeah. so at any time you could have you could have done it on the chipmunk thing but i didn't because again like i said rem mm. was someone who's also from my ends and he really put time into me yeah, yeah and mizzle yeah. and money mac do you mm. know what i mean both of them bro um and i stuck with him that makes sense though you hear about a lot of artists though bro don't you like you hear about a lot of artists both english american whatever that they come into the industry at the beginning with somebody you have to remember you have to remember as well also sorry you have to Mm -hmm. remember the era that I came through Mm -hmm. which was your right it was like a road rap yeah Mm -hmm. we we was in that conglomerate of of artists yeah Yeah. Uh, that was at the time when Tinchy Big Up Tinchy Yes. Was was busting with um, Starship and all Number that. One. Number one, yeah, yeah. Like, Spider Man, Tiny Temper. Bring mm-hmm. them all up, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not throwing shade. I'm just trying to explain the general that era. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So we was where we was coming on a road rap thing, which which that wasn't an industry thing, mm. uh, it, and it was it was very. It was, my name yeah. was an issue. We will end up we'll end up getting to it when you talk oh, about the Jubilee thing. Okay, okay, so okay, like we yeah. came, I came from that era. Yeah. Um, and if you wasn't connected and you was your manager wasn't on in the industry like that, mm-hmm. you really is tough. Yeah. And remember, Rem was just from the roads, bro. Yeah, so was Money Mac. Like, this was mm-hmm. road money we're dealing with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So so they Rem just had an insight to the Rem. Industry. Rem was a talent, bro, as well. He's he, an had artist. An insi- he had an insight mm-hmm. though because he yeah, was hundred yeah, percent. And was he was trying, he was trying, and right. he done, and that's why I always will give Remedy his yeah. flowers. Mm-hmm. Because he tried his best with me, bro. Yeah. And yeah, he tried, yeah. he tried, and for this, it was new to him. <clears throat> can I can I say something just as a devil's advocate thing, yeah? Because mm. I'm sitting back, right, and I'm thinking as someone from West London, that an area that had a lot of talent, but really struggled to get looks in anyway in yeah. West, like even on that level, mm, that yeah. West London was very mm. seen as like, oh, they're sweet boys, they've yeah. got money, they're flyer boys, they're not really gang and that whatever. Yeah. Mm. So looking back, I'm thinking like, yo, you came in the game with gigs on your first mixtape, and yeah. That, yeah. Like, you had mm. like the fixed bottom on there, mm. G Fresh, yep. and then you had the SAS shit. Mm. I'm thinking maybe it's true. even me looking, sitting back, looking at it, I'm thinking like, raw man, like me, I'd think I was in the game if I had that. Yeah, the very like, mm. point, bro. I'd be mm. thinking, damn, bro, I'm in this now. Like, we're, I'm already accepted. Yeah, and that's why I'm telling you about me looking back. <coughs> that's why I get it more now. Saying to myself, Donny, like. That's negative. It's egotistical. Mm. Like, you're right. That's yeah, a very yeah, valid yeah, yeah. question, bro. Because I, I had everyone. I had him on my tape. And everyone I was, was on my tape. In... Bro, you were. Everyone well, was on my tape. You see why? Because he's doing his thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bro, everyone was on my tape. Black the Ripper. Yeah, Black Big R. Yeah, guy. God bless, man. Yeah. They, all, they all came shot videos of me. Yeah, I yeah. Because yeah. even so you're right, bro. I've had so, issues and that's with what that. I'm saying. So like, what, 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 what was what was I doing wrong? I was the problem then. Because you're right. I was accepted. Yeah, you was accepted by the Do You know what I mean? But like I said, what happened was away from that situations, shows, pulling up at places and pro- certain producers getting slapped. Yeah. And this I'm just being real, yeah, and promoters and and not me personally. No, I'm just being honest, bro. Not Legend. me not me personally, but my people. 
Do you know what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, I, I, the, the, the entourage. Ones, for example, I'm not going to say who Thames yeah. laid someone yeah, out, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah? Which is like a big player. Yeah. Okay, right. So right. therefore, it's, yeah, no, fuck them, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And my man even said to me, Donny, i got love for you, but, but see all of that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. This, is, this, is, this is just young kids that don't know how to behave themselves. Yeah, but I, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm a negative person, but I kind of mm. like that shit, bro. That's how, been, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Shit, I, can, I have moments, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'll just play, I'll defy you. know what? And, and, and it, it, goes, it goes back to like you said, like, it's just the environment that we came from. Yeah, that's what it is. So, man and dad to behave themselves. And that's why I'm saying now that I'm older, yeah, yeah. I can see it now. So, when I'm seeing the youngsters make these mistakes, I'm like, bro, I'm telling man, yeah, yeah. you don't know how to behave yourself. Bro. Nah, it's true still. Like, like, and I've, I've, I've now been on the other side of it, yeah. where I've done business with people from the ends and young, young boys coming up. And they've disrespected our thing, and I'm like, bro, they've ruined the business. You're, I can't work with you. Fucking you're, up the you're money. You're ruining yourself. You're yeah, ruining yeah. it for yourself by being so short-sighted. Nah, it's true, you know. But again, like I said, bro, everything this is the journey, bro. Yeah. I, I am who I am, and I, it is what it is. Nah, I respect it still. Yeah. And it's my people. Yeah, no matter how much it. I love the fuckery, bro, yeah, I've yeah. always made money when there's no fuckery. Yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. made money. Hundred percent. It don't work like that. Yeah. Business people. And, but but I've, everything, yeah. all the mistakes Honor. I've made throughout that, with my SC, what I do now with SC Dons and my football. I don't make the mistakes, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So my yeah. business is patterned, and so we're gonna. I've learned from into that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get. Let's. So the Drew, the Drew Blue name project, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, I want to because uh, I don't want to forget that. Yeah. Because mm. you mentioned it in your your mm. where you faced with these challenges to get the bookings. Yep. The feds rang Viz, isn't it? That? That's right. And they're saying, "Yo, mm. like show done." But you're thinking yeah. the whole ends on route. It's, yeah, yeah. It's right it's today, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's peak, bro. Yeah. That's a horrible feeling. It's not even. <laughs> and like it was a big thing, bro, to get booked for a Viz thing for me. That because, like I said, it was already at the time where I was feeling a little bit. Blackboard a yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But then I'm like, oh, yeah. this is putting me on. I'm like, oh, this is sick, bro. Yeah, like, I'm really a Charlie Sloth fire in the booth, and now I'm like, mm-hmm. ah, cool. Yep. Maybe I'm doing my thing. Do you Maybe know it's mean? happening. And yeah. then, like, when Viz gave the phone call on that one, I was just like, it was so, like, disheartening. And then it yeah. starts making me look, I'll be honest, I start looking at Rem and Mike, and I'm thinking, is it you, man, that's like fucking oh, my you shit? Oh, you got paranoid a bit as well.